Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner Ozala and welcome to this wonderful tutorial. I believe uh, this is one of the most powerful systems that help the, the quick deployment of apps in the world and I believe that at the end of this tutorial um, you would have learned a lot uh, and then love to quickly deploy your app without spending any money. Alright, and uh, quickly too, Firebase is a set of tools for quickly deploying your app it has real-time database and a whole lot of other things but then Google saw what the Firebase team was doing and bought Firebase and um, upgraded a lot of things recently so I'm going to be teaching you how to use the new Google platform for Firebase and um, my name is the partner and don't forget to always um, go to my channel and subscribe if you want to subscribe to my channel you go to youtube.com slash c slash brain 10 org just be sure that you got the spelling right you hit enter and my channel opens you come to the the the, the right hand side corner and let's hit on subscribe then also i want to quickly show you how to make your video high quality you know these videos are programming video tutorials so if you are watching the video one of my videos you just click on it and when the video starts playing um, you come to this point and hit on settings and uh, select your quality here something of any higher quality okay all right that's that's it that's settled and um, let's get back to what we're talking about on firebase Alright, so I'll be taking you through this tutorial and I hope at the end you will have a successful app because with Firebase, according to their official documentation, um, Firebase is a mobile platform that helps you quickly deploy, develop high quality apps, grow your user base, earn more money. Firebase is made up of complementary features that can, you can mix and match to fit your needs. All right, first of all, uh, before, before we will take a look at those features, I want you to know that if you want to access Firebase, you just visit firebase.google.com. In, in, in the past, it used to be firebase.com, firebase.com. That's how it is in the past, but now it's firebase.google.com. All right, so if you visit firebase.google.com, you will arrive at the page I am now. And then you and I can quickly go through the features, all right? First of all, um, let's see what Firebase can really do. As you can see here, you have real-time database. That's one, that one very powerful feature. Firebase database is real-time. For instance, if you, are, if you are building a chat application and then um, the user one sends a message and once it updates on the Firebase database, all the apps that are listening to that gets updated immediately. All those Codes, all those AJAX codes you you had to write before to listen for user whatever whatever they are gone in simple few lines of code you can just get your database running it has authentication already sorted out for you so all those user registration and management systems you have to write before to make sure that all your users are logged in all of them are taken care of by Firebase okay you just need to use the API and tap into the system all right they make sure they send your user's email uh, once they sign up, recover password, they send it and they make sure that your note users have the same username and password and whatever. And then they take care of all the um, social networking authentication, for instance, Facebook login, Twitter login, Google login, and so on and so forth. It has been taken care of. And then there's cloud messaging, Google Cloud Messenger, all those notifications and stuff, and they have notifications too. All right. And there is storage. Data Firebase is uh, mainly a, a database. It has a database, and the, the database returns data in JSON. All right, JSON format, so you can always query and get your database. All right, then it has hosting. You can build an app and host it, and it's all free. They give you a subdomain name, and you host your app. It's free, and it's just amazing. So if you're if you're building a hybrid app, you, you can host it and always um, give your client the url to the host where you hosted it and it runs all, uh, all the sites and you can always um, make use of the free hosting space there 
then there's remote configuration that there is a test lab to test how your app is working then it has a crash report which is just amazing you don't have to worry about so many things then um, it has app indexing uh, dynamic links invites and of course remember this guy adwords then there's ad mode you know if you want to um if you want google to advertise on your mobile phones you can enable it then if you want to uh, advertise your mobile app to uh, many users using google um, adwords you can enable it right from your console panel then um someone might just be wondering how free can it get to how free is it so uh, it takes us to to the part where we just click on the pricing and if you click on the pricing it brings you to the pricing page as you can see um, the first plan is pack which is completely free and um, you need 100 simultaneous connections to exceed this um, first pricing plan then one gigabyte of storage in case people were uploading pictures to your host and whatever then uh, the bandwidth is 10 gigabytes and a whole lot of stuff a whole lot of stuff all right then assuming you break this 100 simultaneous connections as when you break it it means that um, you can just pay 25 dollars per month to have unlimited and i tell you this is crazy then the other thing you could worry about is um, your hosting space uh, which is as many people are uploading videos and stuff to your um, to your server then you have to worry about just five dollars per month it's so cheap so so cheap and um, that's why uh, many companies are starting to use firebase now do you know an example of a company that uses firebase guess what shazam shazam is one company that uses it then fabulous all right the new firebase the old one there are so many companies using it all right um let's check out uh firebase is in uh different languages you can connect to firebase and they have apis for uh, five different languages one is uh, swift so if you're building an ios app there is already um, an api for you you can build ios apps that connect to firebase with it then you have objective c which is still ios then you have java if you're building native android apps don't worry about database or anything you can connect to firebase directly look at what the connection just looks like then if you're building hybrid apps or websites okay if you're building a website or a hybrid app you want to build in a chat app into your application or you just want to build it you can build the whole site with it completely you don't need to worry about back end and stuff there you have it so this is just a basic a basic code for user login like i told you firebase takes uh, control of your user man manages your user login that's taking care of it so if you just have this code it basically checks is user logged in right this is the code for user login and uh, the uh, else then it gives you a return imagine these few lines of code managing your user login state that's just amazing then there's for c plus plus all right then um, i'm just taking you through the features of firebase so you get a feel of how powerful it is it is uh, of course it's very easy you don't ever need to worry about scaling as your app grows uh, firebase expands for you okay so um of course that the, their support is free in case you need support and of course in my video tutorials you can always ask questions on my website all right um and on at the bottom of any video you have any question for all right uh i didn't mention my site um my site is braintem.org braintem.org that's it you can go there create an account log in and um, you can maintain a decent discussion on any of the tutorials I've, I've done all right so we are back to firebase and in the next tutorial we'll create a quick project in fact it's my co it's, it's customary for me to quickly create a, a quick project in firebase uh, in any tutorial i'm doing the very first video okay let's just try it so you are here right here on firebase.google.com and you're logged in with your gmail your or your, your email account then you, there is this um uh, link here you have to click to go to console when you click on it it pulls up a place where you can create a project as you can see 
you create a project and as you can see down here are some dummy projects I've created so you create a new project and um, you can always import too so I create a new project and I call it what um, what do we call this fire test or whatever then you choose your country I'm from the greatest country in the whole world the most powerful nation on earth the best country to be with and um, the best visiting location in the world that's where I am from so I'm gonna choose my great country of Nigeria and that's done and we create projects so that's it for creating an app quickly and everything is settled and in the next tutorial you to use Firebase you don't ever need to download anything we'll just copy the we'll just reference the Firebase URL inside our, our app okay so our console has opened in the next video tutorial we'll get a run through of what all these guys are doing all right thank you very much see you in the next video don't forget to like and share this so that your friends who are interested in mobile app development will see and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel very important so thank you very much see you in the next video